love of racing is part of our DNA. Our performance in the world's hardest races and rallies has made motorsport history. And now we are opening a new chapter. Audi in Formula One. A 47 hectare high-tech site where successes have been born since 2014. Audi's Motorsport Center in Neuburg, Germany is an ideal facility for the development of an F1 power unit. With test benches for F1 engine testing as well as for electric motor and battery testing. The technical department at Audi Sport Racing started work on the Audi F1 power unit in March. Audi has significant know-how in-house for the development of high-efficiency combustion engines and high-voltage powertrains for motorsport applications. Audi's operational base in Bavaria is in the heart of Germany's automotive industry with the world's leading suppliers of high-tech components on our doorstep. With Formula One, we want to add the next chapter to our motorsport success story. The way I see it, there's no better place to deliver proof of Vorsprung durch Technik. Power on for Formula One. I want to officially announce that Audi has officially registered as PU Formula One manufacturer. So we will um, in 2026 start racing in F1. Racing, motorsport, is in the DNA of Audi. Audi has always been active and been successful in motor racing. And if you think about, about uh, uh, Le Mans or Rally Dakar, what we do now, DTM and Formula E, we have always been very active and very successful. And we want to continue this success story now in Formula One. And I think it's a perfect timing due to the new rules that, were, that are established now uh, for us to enter F1. And there are many aspects. F1, we, we have decided to be a full electric car manufacturer. Um, and uh, F1 did change the rules in a way that we can enter with a very high electric part of the powertrain with uh, renewable fuels. And uh, Formula One have installed a, a cost cap that makes it very attractive for us to enter now. So it Marcus mentioned before, the, the Formula One is a, is a pinnacle of, of motorsport. Yeah? And, and, and um, as I mentioned before, we started to electrify our motorsport program in 2012. We were the first winning Le Mans with a TDI. We were the first winning the Le Mans with a hybrid car. We were the first German car manufacturer um, winning the Formula E and the next step is entering the Formula One. And uh, there is a completely new um, reglement for 2026, which allows us to develop um, um, a lot more sustainable and electrified powertrain. And uh, Marcus mentioned before, we will, we will host um, our development for the powertrain in Neuburg, so powertrain made in Germany. And um, yeah, it's, it's, it's not a long way to 2026. We have to speed up and I'm, I'm I'm really happy to announce it today, and then we can we can officially work on the on the on the powertrain. I love I love this challenge. Well, actually, it's a great day, a great day for the sport. And uh, when uh, there is a new journey starting, you see the emotion of the people involved, the positive emotion. Uh, it's a journey that uh, uh, started uh, in a way many years ago, and uh, personally, I'm very happy to see that now is coming to a, a real life. Uh, uh, as you may understand. But uh, it's good because Formula One is even an incredible moment today. And this is another step into the growth of what Formula One represents in terms of leadership of uh, innovation, uh, sport entertainment, and great te technical challenges. And I think that the hybridization with sustainable fuel is a direction that uh, will enable manufacturers and teams to work very hard to keep uh, you know, the highest standard in terms, as I said, of uh, new ideas that will be able to keep the manufacturer 
always with different solution ready for the portfolio to offer to the customer. But we are a sporting platform, thanks to the FIA, because of the vision that we had together to that uh, allow you know, the actual manufacturer to have other competitors. That's the beauty of the sport, that's the beauty of one of today. First of all, it's a, a milestone. Um, if you talk about Audi, I drove Audi in my career, and that was a, a very amazing experience to drive a four-wheel drive on the gravel, uh, the speed, the sheer speed, uh, the amusement. Uh, but um, this journey, as um, uh, Marco said and uh, Stefano, it hasn't been an idea that just came now, but um, uh, I would like to thank also the whole team of Steph, one or the um, uh, Audi or also the FIA team. It took six months from my time, uh, but to be here, it's, this is where the fruits comes. Um, um, definitely, uh, it's going uh, to change a lot. I mean, if we didn't change um, the, the, in the FIA, the PU, we wouldn't have given the opportunity to new teams to come. There is no way a big manufacturer would come at a PU, as a PU uh, um, supplier if they don't have the chance. Nobody would go there to be humiliated. You see, this is the open time now, but the negotiation was a lot of uh, in it ups and down, uh, engaging all the time with Audi and with the teams and with Stefano. So the results are fruitful. <laughs>
racing is in the DNA of Audi. The rules changed in a way uh, that we can start with a brand new powertrain from Audi. And so very efficient powertrains and Audi this fits perfectly together. Well, it is a big challenge to have a powertrain in the Formula One car in less than four years from now. But we have a great team in Neuburg. We have great facilities in Neuburg at Audi Sport. Uh, and so it will be possible for us to make big steps now. We invest already in, in, in the facilities. So I'm really up for this challenge. And there's still a way to go. But we have a state-of-the-art motorsport center in Neuburg. We have a state-of-the-art test benches there. We have a lot of experience with electrified powertrains and the main factor, we have a highly motivated uh, expert team there and we're on track.